All right, you box breakers and pack rippers, welcome back to another special live episode of The Box Breakers. We're here at Joe's Card Shop, Arizona Trading Cards and Collectibles, 24th Street in Osborne. We have special guest star in the house again, Mr. Abraham. There he is. Hey, Abe, how you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Not too bad. So we want to give a big shout out to one of our favorite subscribers who's sponsoring this episode again. His name is Greg. Greg, thank you very much. We got a little quick surprise for you, Greg, for your sponsorship of uh, all uh, the box breakers here and all uh, our videos. We're going to gift you for free, free giveaway to Greg. He's getting this card right here, specially selected by Abe. It's the deface card, and he's also going to get the goblin. So next time you come into the store, Greg, these will be waiting for you. All right, Abe, what do we got here? So here we're actually opening the booster box for um, Ravnica Allegiance. So, so far we've, uh, if you, you'll see in the uh, pack, uh, in the videos, um, we have done the fat pack. So this is gonna be the second of, of this product that we open up. I'm looking forward to opening this one. There's a lot of new cards, really cool cards in here. Um, from the little sneak peek we had from that fat pack, we noticed a lot of um, a lot of cards themed off of um, acrobats and things like that. So that was really cool to see initially. Um, going off that way. Further than that, there's some really cool cards. Um, with a lot of, of power and uh, recyclability. So, um, as a player, looking forward to seeing this uh, pan out um, and see what else is new. All right. Sounds like a plan. This episode also goes out to Lotus Sworn. He's usually uh, one of our resident magic experts here. Uh, he's also going to sponsor one of Greg's code cards. There you go, Lotus Sworn. We'll see you soon sometime. we got a couple more boxes to open with you, so uh, don't be a stranger. All right, we've got to get through this, Abe. We're going to have to hustle. You know that, right? Oh, definitely. Okay, so we also did the fat pack in our last video. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. We yeah. cover in detail a lot of the cards, and we will stop and pause and talk about any playable cards and value cards. We will do uh, our best to do that. Our There's best. a lot of cards, so... Um, and there's a lot to go into. So uh, you have your obvious like instant support cards that, that we're going to see a lot of. So instant play this, buff up your guy. Um, here we have some new uh, here's some new cards right here. Let's keep on going through. Open the gate. So one of the key, one of the things you'll notice a lot of in this set is gate support. So there's a lot of lands that are gate based. There's cards that gain abilities based off of those lands. So search your library for a basic land uh, or gate card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Really simple, really aggressive. Um, so you'll see a lot of that as we go through these cards. Thirsting Shade. So here's a common card that I believe we'll see a lot of play in. Right. So you draw two cards, addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase, you gain two life. So just a light, nice little uh, come up. So you play four mana for it. It gets you some uh, quick little resource cards. There's, this, some card. there's the scary lady, Burn Light. Yeah. Oh, look. There's Harry Potter's uh, owl friend. Yeah, well, What's his this name? Is, this is... Uh, the, the dad of that, Al. Hedwig's dad. Hedwig, okay. Yeah, so. Hedwig's dad. We're going to set that one off to the side for our Steelers fan. She loves uh, she loves the Harry Potter. And this card's pretty good. So it has Vigilance, and it can't be blocked. So it's pretty much guaranteed to damage. Um, it is a high-cost card, but and pretty bulky. So pretty cool to see that. Does that one go over there? Sure, that's fine. Gruel Locket. And so all the lockets are really, really nice. Um, three mana for one of two colors. Depending on what you're playing, you choose which ones are most appropriate for your deck. Um, but And then you can tap th uh, four mana of whatever the, the two they are. And then it sacrifices and draw cards. Bankrupt and Blood. Well, this is our first uncommon card from this pack. Well, um, I think it will be a very viable card because you sacrifice uh, a couple creatures, but... Pay some mana, get some cards. Oh, these are the rare? Those are the uncommons. Uncommons. I'm going to just put those here. For, uh, okay, Macarb Mockery. So a lot of uh, 
grotesque yeah, cards in this. Pretty oh, interesting. So this is a put target creature card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gets plus two and haste until the end of the turn. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Really cool reanimation card. And here we have Bedevil. So wow, this is actually one of the cards that's on the um, that's all that's being posted out everywhere for the um, the artwork. But destroy target artifact creature or planeswalker. Really good card. Really strong. Control. Wow, really like that one. I like the artwork on that too. Yeah. So that card's gonna be really cool to see in the future. And here's cool. our first we'll gate that card. Back there. Guild our gate. First gate card. Land. Right there. That's perfect. And then our spirit. That's literally him. Okay, so one pack. Let's. We gotta go. I'll try to be less thorough. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of cool. There's parts. a lot in here. I guess. I mean, we could split it into two parts. So let's, for now, let's just kind of go through it. We'll focus on the commons, and uncommons, and uh, rares. Does that sound for you? That sounds fine for me. Cool. Or if, if you see one of the cars that, oh, that we lot. know, <laughs> well, that okay, that might be worth money. Let us know. We'll pull oh, it so off to the see, side. There's prying eyes. Yeah. So, uh, for uh, as well, Popper's becoming very popular, which is the co uh, I think it's only commons and uncommons. So, um, no rares, no mythic rares. So a lot of these cards just generally increase slightly in value, just because of the the need for them. Okay. So it's pretty cool seeing that become more popular. This is a good card. Here's Has another. Death touch. It's a beast. Crazy artwork. Just a good card all around. Syndicate messenger. Cool. Clear the mind, you know, sometimes you gotta clear your mind, so wonder what they're doing to do that. Um, little little demon that's in the rafters. Ooh, another cool artwork. Let's see, skewer the critics. Oh, we oh, saw that one in our fat pack opening. That is right, so it just deals a couple damage. Blade Brand, I like this card a lot. You, um, It's an instant, tap two, and two, one black, one colorless. Um, you gain death, you give a creature death touch and you draw a card. So it replaces itself and could potentially be giving you some kill shots. Titanic Brawl. Instant. Yes, so. Um, pretty good card. Nothing crazy. Um, Rakdos Firewheeler. This is the first one we've seen of this. Again, more of these like acrobatic looking cards. When Rakdos Firewheeler enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to target opponent. That's not bad. Uh, the Timander. It's a Salamander Drake. Okay, Blood Mist Infiltration. Now that's a pretty artwork. Kind of just uh, reminds me of Terminator 2, not the blood, but just the walking through the walking bars. Walking through the bars, yeah. And then right there, his gun gets gets caught up. And he like looks at it. Well, sideways. this is a vampire card, so for all those EDH vampires, a little new, a little bit of support for you guys. Whenever Blood Mist Infiltrator attacks, sacrifice another creature. If you do, it can't be blocked this turn. Wow, that's pretty good. Like that artwork. And here's our rare Biomancer's Familiar. So. So it's a mutant creature, two cost, um, one green, one blue, two, two. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. Wow. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to less than one mana. Very strong ability. This card, very good. Okay. Good to hear. And then our second gate card. And emblem. And an emblem. There's So. Storm Strike. Okay, let's go. So Storm Strike, a Brink Trial, to, uh, Coral Commando, Feral. Oh, that's, that's first one we've seen that. Yeah, cats are always nice. I've been trying to build a cat deck for a long time. I haven't really picked up as many as I need. Do you need one of these? Uh, well, that would be an option to add to the deck. Let's look at that little cat right around. Um, a little hybrid. Uh, Undersea Scavenger. Sagittarius Varley. Uh, There's a crocodile. <laughs> She's new. So yes, she is. Usually it's after like one. Very basic card. Um, Act of Treason. Nice little uh, new artwork for an old card. Um, here we go. First one. Light up the stage. Again, more circus cards. Spectacle. Um, exile the top two cards of your library until the end of the next turn. You may play those cards. Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead. Yeah, it's a there, um, Geyer Engineer, just add two mana. That's a nice extender for 
um, grass and island decks. Tower defense, creatures you control get little, become a little bulky to sit on. And blood crypt. So this is our first rare land. So it counts for either swamp or a mountain. As blood crypt enters the battlefield, you may pay two lives, so you don't have to. Tap, uh, it doesn't have to enter tap. Wow, that's pretty nice. Those are always good to have in your repertoire. Really pretty artwork too. And here we have Simic Guild Gate. And as happened to me half the time. So this is going to be four parts, right? No, I think we can get it. And definitely two. We might be able to get it in one. Probably not at this rate. Oh, I'm just getting excited. There's too much goodness in there. There's a, yeah, let's not skip over anything too good, you know? Like Here we have another new Goblin Support card. Spear Spewer. Uh, do you want to see that? Yeah, it's just a little defender, and it can do one damage to players. Nice little burn card. Uh, there's the district veteran. There's the, the lady from uh, Game of Thrones. Oh dear goodness, no, no one, no, no one that getting that strapped in there. Oh, you're talking about oh man, a little bit, a little. I see it now. Okay, fairy duelist. Just with all the all the armor on and everything. Yeah, fairy duelist. You know, poking people's eyes out. Spirit, a little creeper. creeper yeah, we saw him in the fat box creeping in the fat box. Yeah, under city's embrace. Syndicate messenger. Root snare. Prevent all combat damage done this turn. That would be dealt this turn. That's a good defensive card. Uh, another Raptor Demon. Cool artwork. Okay, this is our first Azorius Locket. Again, I always think the lockets would be nice little additions to the set. Um, this is, uh, if you notice the the box symbol, this is one of the symbols that's being uh, accented. Another Blade Brand. And here we go, Senate Guild Major. First Uncommon. Um, just a decent card, nothing crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Oops, <laughs> wrong clap. Cool, Azoria's Skyguard, <laughs> Flying for a Strike, that's always uh, a very useful uh, ability. Uh, Regenesis, uh, target up to two target permanent cards in your graveyard and add them to your hand. Nice little recycle. Right here. And then Gruel Spellbreaker, very strong card. I see this card a lot. We actually, in the previous thing, we had to keep the hollow in the fat pack. So it's a the riot ability. This creature enters with a plus one plus one or haste. You choose um, trample, and as long as it has, uh, it's your turn. It and you, you and your this card have hex proof. Very strong ability. Really good card. And another gate. And there's our gate for this pack. Gate land and a frog lizard. Oh, oops, sorry. And frogs are lizards apparently. Oh, almost knocked Greg's cards over. Savage Smash. There's the Twilight Forever. Persistent Partitioners. We've seen a lot of these. Let's just blow through these real quick. We've seen her. We've seen that. I haven't seen Skeeter Skitter, Eel. Skitter Eel. Yeah, We've Star seen Star Wars, that Star Wars thing. And there's a locket. And here's our first uncommon. Again, we've seen this. Senate Guild Mage. <laughs> Drill oh, this bit. is the first one. Drill bit. Uh, three mana, one black. Spectacle. Um, target player reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from it. That player discards that card. Wow. Uh, always good to have deck knowledge. Okay, and here, a uh, Knight of the Last Breath. Giant Knight, sacrifice another non-token creature, create a 1-1 one, one black spirit creature. Oh, so that's what the spirits are for. You want that one or no? That's okay. And here we have Ethereal Absolution. So this is our rare for the pack. Uh, it's an enchantment. Creatures you control have plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponent control have minus one, minus one. And if you tap four mana to one uh, white and one black included, exile target card from an opponent's uh, graveyard. If it was a creature, you create a 1-1 one, one black token with flying. Uh, that's a pretty good card. That's pretty strong. And definitely a card to keep an eye out on. Another gate. And here is our Radkos gate. I think what we'll do, Abe, is we'll do one stack 
we'll do three parts. Cool. Mode, Sounds good to me. Okay. That way we don't have to skip anything, any good information. So one of the things I've noticed, um, is Spectacle is a really popular, uh, it's a big ability. So it lets you play this card for Spectacle cost rather than its main cost um, if an opponent lost life this turn. So really good as long as you have a little bit of burn or if you attack. So it lets you take advantage of your card. Um, Cracktoes Trumpeteer. Open the gates. Good card right there. Do we put that one somewhere? Just put it up there for now. Just put it in the pile. It'll get lost in there. Oh, we'll find it. No worries. I think there's a few other ones in there anyways. Okay. Cool. So, this is a um, special. Sorry. That's pretty. Aerial Monculus. Ill-gotten inheritance. Inherit at the beginning of your upkeep. Ill-gotten inheritance. Deals most damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Wow, that's not bad. Just as a little quick control mechanic. Um, Law Mage is binding. Act of Treason. And here we go, starting our uncommons. We have Thrilled Mystic. Two green, two blue. Flash. Enters the battlefield and may counter target spell. Wow, he's a counter um, creature. So here we have our... I call them little dual spells. You get your little choice in Congruity and in... Incubation. So incubation says look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal I'm sorry about that. Reveal a creature card among them and put it in your hand, put the rest at the bottom of the in random order. Or exile target creature. Um, that creature controller creates a to uh, frog lizard token. Cry of Canarium. And our rare for the pack. Gutter bones. One tap. Um, he comes in the field tapped. Um, return go to burn from the graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only during your turn and only if your opponent's lost life this turn. Not crazy good, but skeleton warrior, gutter bones, you know. He used to be a pirate in his old life. And there's Slimer again. Oh, Ooh, hello. Oh, there's the slime again. Slime bind. Savage, Savage smash. smash. More of the gates. Open the gates. I've seen that one quite a few times. It's a good card. It's probably going to be a nice little staple to play in gate decks. Grow Spiral. This is a card that's very nice. It says, let you draw a card and you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. So if you're playing a gate engine, uh, this lets you turbo out your your gate so that way you can bring out your big boys faster and get those burn plays going. Expose the daylight. Grotesque demise. Another seeks his insight. Bankrupt in blood. So pitless pitless pontiff. Pontiff. Pitless pontiff. Okay, so Pitless Pontiff gains Death Touch and Indestructible if you pay one mana until the end of the turn. So very, very powerful little card. So that card just lets you get over those big guys if um, if they want to block with them. So we have Gatebreaker Ram. So this is our first Gatebreaker Ram we've seen. So it's a sheep, you know? Gatebreaker Ram gets plus one, plus one for each gate you control. So it becomes a really big uh, creature over time. And as long as you control two or more gates, Gatebreaker Ram has Vigilance and Trample. Very good card. And here's our rare. Uh, we've seen this before, but it's a very good card. Um, lets you get a little bit of control against, uh, oh, sorry, we haven't seen this now. I'm confusing the two, the fat pack with this. <laughs> oh, everything's blurring together. Yeah, it's all good, Abe. So, Font of Agonies. Whenever you play, um, it's an enchantment. You can pay life to put blood counters on this, and you pay two mana, um, one black. You can remove four counters and destroy a target creature. Just a nice little control mechanic for black decks. And if you're playing vampires, for example, your life won't matter that much, so you can uh, you have more to sacrifice. <laughs> Another rat goes kill. 
Shuffle. And we have our little squid illusions. Squishy. <laughs> You doing it, Tim? Yeah, Vegeta, Spike, Devil Man, Kaba, and Baba on field. I just perugged him, kept out Goku striving to be. Uh, Rebel Belt. Belt. Runga. Rebel Belt runner. Okay. <laughs> Can't remember Rebel Belt. Oh, runner. look, cats are real. Uh, Prowling. Oh, uh, uh, we, we passed that. Yeah. Prowling. Car Cackle. Shimmer of possibility. <laughs> Sir from Hybrid. Undercity Scavenger, Blade Juggler, Goblin Gathering. Let's actually read this card real quick. Goblin cards are always nice to keep an eye on because they can, if you don't keep an eye on goblins, they can breed and just run you over. So Goblin Gathering, create a number of one, a number of one, one red goblin creature tokens equal to two plus the number of cards named Goblin Gathering in your graveyard. If this, in standard, this could potentially be a really nice swarm mechanic, either whether it be defensive or offensive. So, a really cool card. Summary Judgment. Caretaker. All right, here's our very first uh, uncommon, and actually the first dagger caster we've seen. So when dagger caster enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent and one damage to each creature your opponent controls. Nice little splash damage that you can throw on the board. Um, not very strong, but you can put some damage. Uh, Knight of the Last Breath. Gates of Blaze. This is the burn card that I mentioned earlier. So Gates of Blaze deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates you control. So depending on how many gates you, um, you're playing, this card can be pr pretty devastating. And our first mythic rare, um, Skargan Hellkite. It's a dragon. So let's go ahead and read this. Uh, Skargan Hellkite is cost five mana, three colorless, three, two red. Uh, comes out for, with Riot, either haste or plus one plus one counter. Flying, um, this with haste, very dangerous, but Skargan Hellkite deals two damage divided as you choose among two targets. And when you activate this ability, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Pretty cool card right there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Check this out. And there's our first hollow, Civic Stalwart. It is a common, but it is an elephant soldier. When Civic enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one. Really strong support card. Really cool to see. Let's go ahead and get that sleeved up. There's another guild gate, guild gate, and a goblin. All right, we've got four packs left here in part number one. Oh, that last goblin is actually going to go to Greg. Greg is our resident goblin player, and he doesn't have enough tokens for his deck, so we always try to take care of him. In passion orator, Mongolus. Grave hide goblin. Does he need that one? <coughs> no. Not necessarily. Okay. No. So the the format that we we play casually is actually um uh commander. So in commander you can only have whatever your commander's identity is. He plays mono green. Uh, this is a really good card. So this card lets you destroy target land, so that includes your opponents, and then it lets you scry two cards. So you look at the top two cards um, of your deck and put them either in the top or bottom of your deck. So if they're dead draws and they're not going to support you the next two turns, you can always put them at the bottom of your deck. Or if they're good cards, keep them. Oops. Summary judgment. Here's the caretaker. And Gate Colossus. This is um, one of the beat sticks that you can bring out in those gate decks because he casts one less for each gate you control. And you're just not interested in him. Oh, you? sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. You did, you did that last time with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Let's give him some love. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Gate uh, Colossus. Yeah. So whenever he can't be blocked by creatures that are two or less, so a lot of those little spam tokens. So eight, eight is a very big number. Um, whenever Gate enters the battlefield under your control, uh, uh, Gates enter the battlefield under your control. You may put Gate Colossus from your graveyard on top of your library. So if he's been killed, he'll come back. 
Okay, this is the first one we've seen of this. So, Flames of the Razeborn. Uh, Flames of the Razeborn deals 4 damage to target creature, and opponent controls, and Flames of the Razeborn deals 2 damage to each other creature that player controls if you're con you control a creature with great 4 or greater power. Not a, not a bad card. We got the Wall of Lost. Wall of Lost Thoughts. Okay, so this is a Defender card. Really pretty artwork. Incubation Druid. This is a card that I've seen going for around five bucks at the moment, maybe seven. I don't remember off the top of my head clearly, but two mana. But add one mana of any, the type of land you control to um, you could produce. If Incubation Druid has a plus one plus one counter, add three mana of that type instead. Really good card. That's awesome. That's a really good card. And then your gates over here. And the uh, running human. Three packs in three minutes. I won't talk. I got it. We just gotta go straight to the good stuff. Oh, there's too much good stuff. It's all amazing. <laughs> Thank you for sticking it out with us. Or we can just just see just leave it overflow to the next next one. All right. All right. Cool. We've seen a lot of these cards already, so we'll probably push through these. Yep, we have seen all these. Thank you. Okay, here's our first in common. Sphinx of the New Parv. Clan Guild Mage. Uh, always keeping an eye on this enchantment. And Sphinx of Foresight. You may reveal this card from your opening hand, and if you do, scry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. Wow, pretty strong opening ability. Cool to see that. All right, two packs, two minutes. I think we can do it. And we'll have to we'll have to get to our sponsors, like AZ Trading Cards on eBay. Civic Stalwart, Paraduelist. Let's blow through these real quick. Passion Raider, Axe Beast, Rakko Strumpeter, Watchful Knight, a Giant, a Goblin. The Gathering. Goblins. And here we start our Uncommons again, Rakdos Firewielder, which we saw earlier. Oh, eyes everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Not bad. It's very simple, to the point. What's that say? Pretend Demander? Yep. And let's see what we get. We get Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments for each permanent destroyed this way. Create a 3-3 centaur token. Not a bad card. Really nice swarm of control. And we have another guild gate. And a centaur. Alright, last pack. Before our first column. <laughs> oh, man. My eyes are hurting. She, yeah, me too. Alright. She texts me and goes, where are you at? I said, <laughs> at Joe's still. All right, all right, let's blow through these quick. Good card right there. Another good, that's all good. I'm sure we'll see another one we can mention about in the next video. Oh, Shark to Crab. L that's something that we'd see on Sharknado. Oh, there she is texting again. Sky Tether. You're good. Sky Tether. Guard. And a mythic rare prime. To finish us out. Manifar. Oh, yeah. Big shout out. Big shout out to Lotus Sworn. Free code card giveaway. And big shout out to Arizona Trading Cards on eBay. Check them out. And big thanks to Joe and Abe here at the card shop. We'll see you next time here for uh, part number three. Okay.